Greetings, programs. Welcome to Hide Lens Heroes, the Final Fantasy XIV podcast, where whether you're a warrior of light or a warrior of darkness, all are welcome on this star we call home. This is take two because we had some technical difficulties we didn't notice the first time around. <laughs> but we got a live letter to talk about, so let's do it. Uh, without further ado, let me introduce my co-host, the Quadfather himself. He is the Killmonger to my Black Panther. Wait, I shouldn't be Black Panther. That doesn't sound right. Anyways, he is Pierce Harvey. What's up, my friend? <laughs> oh, well, no. Now, of course, I'm muted. No, I'm good. I'm here. I'm here. That was a joke. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. No, Kill Killmonger is good. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's that? Uh, Michael B. Jordan. He's a good actor. like that a lot. Uh, um, he, he, he's, he's probably one of the best villains uh, from the whole Infinity Saga. Oh, for sure. Um, and... <laughs> I don't know. We could go down the whole rabbit hole of not recasting T'Challa because of the unfortunate passing away of Chadwick Boseman. But uh, anyway, that's not a rabbit hole we'll go down. But uh, anyway, nah. We'll do that We're on back. a Marvel podcast. Exactly. That'll be we'll the look, next I, one. We'll uh, get our boy Kronos because he, he loves talking Marvel. Exactly. Um, but anyway, uh, no. Um, I am excited to discuss this live letter. Um, we... I know you got to watch it uh, live. God help you. But yep. I, I try. I caught a little bit of it before I f fell asleep inevitably. So I'm excited to to go to walk through it with you and discuss it with you guys. So sweet. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit tired, uh, as I said in take one. But uh, I was up at four and was up until it started at five. Streamed the first two hours. And then I go pick up my kids, was able to take a little bit of a nap, but now I'm ready to go. So let's get to it. Uh, we start yeah. off, of course, it's it's a new uh, 6.2 live letter. So, I mean, we got to start off with what? A, a trailer, right? We got to start of off course, with a trailer? Of course, they got to show the trailer, yeah. Let's do it. What's the trailer? Wait, no, where's my trailer? It's there somewhere. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dig deep for it. There it is. I see it now. <laughs> oh my God. We're professional. Hashtag professionalism is good times. Uh, so as a repeat, we have already done this once, but what jumped out to you in this trailer, my friend? So what jumped out to me, uh, definitely, and I think it's what jumped out to most people, is the the blatant Final Fantasy IV references, especially with the music, the boss music of Final Fantasy IV, oh. which actually I'm surprised that they haven't added to the game yet. Uh, the, the, hearing it for the first time in fourteen is like, it's 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 perfect. You mean the so. Four Fiend song? It's, that's not the Four Fiend song. That's the that's the just regular Final Fantasy IV boss music. Okay. Da -na 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 oh yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Well, yeah. I'm guessing during the trial, we're going to have yes, variations sure. on the Four Fiends. So, like, so, yeah. Cognazzo and uh, Rubicante and, and, and friends will have their own music. Um, and Silken's a genius when it comes to variations of themes. Oh, so, absolutely. Um, yeah. Just look at all the weapons. They all have that Heart of Sabika underlay in there. So, yes. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm totally hyped. Uh, Final Fantasy IV is uh, top one. He's possibly number two uh, favorite Final Fantasy of all time. So I am stoked for this. I, I love the references. Um, I, I love all the Final Fantasy IV that we've gotten in Endwalker uh, from the moon and the music uh, with the lop Loperitz in that area. That's oh, so choice. Uh, so, yeah, I'm stoked to get in there. Um, but, yeah, Scarmiglione uh, is in there, but he's he's a dungeon boss. Are we yeah, sad? Are we happy? Yeah, like it definitely looks like a dungeon boss. We we have speculated this in the past, if you watch our, our past podcasts, what they were going to do with the Four Fiends, if they were yeah. going to do each one as their individual trial, or if they would do something like they did with the uh, the um, the auspices, right, with, with Genbu and, and Byako and Siryu and sure. Suzaku, where they made Genbu a dungeon boss and the other three were trials, and it looks like that's what they're doing here, where they're putting Scarmiglione as a dungeon boss, and they'll do Cognazzo, Barbaricia, and um, Rubicante as the trials so i that's a, that's a fine way to do it of course i would like to see scar Miglione have its own trial but as long as the dungeon boss is is well designed that I'm, I'm happy with it so well and that also leaves then a one last spot for 
Something uh, else. Uh, yeah, a knight clad in darkness, maybe? Could I don't be. know who that could be. It's total mystery. A <laughs> oh, this. Uh-huh. Um, favorite be. boss ever. Um, anyways. <laughs> Golbez was my main in Dissidia, so yeah, I feel you. Nice, nice. Uh, he's what uh, really made me like, oh my god, he's a really big bad guy. I love this game. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, the king's not the bad guy? It's someone else? That's shenanigans. Spoilers. All right. Uh, moving on from that. Um, the other thing that maybe popped out to me was just how enormous... Uh, this island sanctuary is going to be like they, oh, yeah. they, they didn't show much in the trailer, but man, this is going to be one big heaping piece of content. And we'll get into the other kind of shocker uh, uh, about island sanctuary in just a moment. Um, mm-hmm. But then they also told us, hey, guess what? Uh, the patch is going to drop August 23rd. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Like complete shocker. Um, if you haven't been part of Final Fantasy 14 um, for uh, quite a while, um, you, you'll learn to understand that they have a very rigid schedule that they adhere to. So when we found out about the date of this live letter, we're like, okay, well, a week from that is the patch notes and the following Tuesday is the patch. So the 23rd. So we knew it was the 23rd, like a month before they announced this. So not a surprise here. No. Um, well, I mean, they actually have been surprising us a little bit with releases of things, uh, especially with this Savage release coming a week after yes. the patch drop. Yeah. So I would not be surprised if they did uh, vary up their, their release timings, but you can you, you can pretty much guess when they're going to drop patches, even even with them kind of shaking things up a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah the, the extended is not cycle and the extra extra week of vacation time for them, so... All right, we're going to kind of go in the order that they did the live letter. Um, right on. So they commented on about moving Savage back a week. Um, pros, cons, good. I know we talked about it before, but let's look at just kind of a little refresher. For it, not against it. Pros, cons. Yeah, I'm for it. Um, I think it's it's really great to be able to go in to the patch and not feel pressured to immediately jump into Savage and start progging it. I, I like the idea of, of having a week to not only farm up tombstones, but to get through the normal mode of the raid, to experience the main story quest if you'd like to do that first, or uh, even get some crafted gear and, and, and suit yourself up for the Savage. Uh, I think it's oh. an all-around good thing that they're doing um, a week um, a week uh, delay from the the release of the patch to yeah. the savage. So I, I'm I'm 100 for it. I don't think I really see any cons at all. Uh, so. The only cons is if you're a crafter, really, that I can see. Yeah. Um, there might be you know since this is a test run, uh, there might be some tuning issues. Now, this is Yoshi P talking about you know difficulties. So take this mm-hmm. with a grain of salt. You said this is this is a, a difficult, much di- stepped up in difficulty. So yeah. I don't know. he always says that. So yeah. I always take what he says about difficulty with a grain of salt. Um, I will say if they didn't tune it to having two, possibly three pieces of tombstone gear, I guess I guess two is the max. Um, you know, two people. No, you wouldn't be able to have so because you still need that tombstone piece to get the uh, the weapon. So that's still yeah. another hindrance there. Um, yeah. But they can get it week one because mm-hmm. they'll have the tombstones. They don't have to wait you know, a second week to get a tombstone. That's uh, true. Tombstone weapon. Um, I, I feel, though, that, you know, this is the the burden to rush out and get the crafting done immediately is lessened. I think that crafters are going to feel that weight lifted from the shoulders to rush and get stuff done and get stuff melded. Um, and they're going to appreciate that they might see a hit to their, you know, gill wallet or their bank account, uh, because with big uh, demand comes, you know, the supply and, and the jacking up of prices, you give us, give them a whole week to craft up stuff. Those prices are probably going to come down significantly that and we're going to have a week to work on primals. So oh, who there. needs a weapon? Forgot about that. 
Yeah, so, uh, those uh, weapons are not going to be as important. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Unless the substats for the primal weapons are complete garbage. Um, yeah, you know, you, then you might want to craft a weapon and pen to meld it. But uh, I don't know. Like, I think it would just be like, mm, yeah, I got I got a week to, to farm up a primal. I'm just going to do that. That's save me some money. So that's where that might also hit uh, crafters in the, in the wallet. Yeah, that's a fair point. All right, moving on. Uh, they talked about MSQ revamps and improvements. Uh, I lost my spot here with trying to fix things. Oh my God, I'm lost. Uh, what are some of the revamps and improvements that did Pierce? Cause I lost my spot. Sure, if I can remember them off the top of my head. I think that they are, we've known this in the past, they're they're completely redoing the Thorn March fight. At least the normal mode they're revamping because yeah, it's so right weird, now right? the normal mode, yeah, I mean the normal mode right now is such a joke to do. It's not even like a challenge. So I think they want to add something of a challenge to the fight. Uh, I hope, or at least like, well, you know, make the experience more memorable because the normal mode, it, like I, I roll my eyes when I get it in like mentor roulette or trials or something. Like yeah. it's just like, oh, here we go. Right. So um, somewhere in here, he said that, that, that it, they wanted to make it more straightforward. Mm. So I don't know if the issue with the chieftain being mostly immune until all the mogs, Moogles were dead. I, I don't. Was that throwing people off? Well, I think that's only for the extreme mode. You can you can pump the norm the 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 big guy in normal, but he'll kill you with the the mog stuff if, if oh, there's. Oh yeah, many, that's right. You got to get the you got to get the yeah. He does certain uh, health percentages. He'll do his meteor drop. Yes. Or whatever his, his ability, and depending on how many Moogles are there are out, um, increases the damage, right? Something yeah, of that nature. Like Memento Moogle or something, and yeah, if there's like Moogle X Memento. amount of Moogles alive, he'll destroy everybody. So okay, yeah. So but, maybe so that's, that's what it was giving. Game. Yeah, maybe that's yeah. what was giving people because they would like, hey, get the boss, and we'll you know deal with these, but then they would die, and they wouldn't understand why. So maybe mm -hmm. that's what was so confusing about it. Okay, that's fine. They're not touching extreme. Extreme is still the way it is. Uh, that's fine. I, I like extreme. I uh, can't wait for that to be an Unreal. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I uh, the fight the fight is fun. I actually do like it, but it requires a lot of 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 coordination mm -hmm. that that fight. So like doing that with randoms is a nightmare. So yeah. if I, they do I, an unreal of it, it's yeah, it's gonna be a nightmare. If you <laughs> haven't come by, come by my stream on Tuesdays for salty peers, man. Those are always good good yes. times in Unreal. <laughs> uh, uh, they also uh, basically redid the Steps of Faith with Vishop. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like they're making that a solo instance. So you're going to have uh, MSQ buddies like Yida, Papa Limo. Uh, they're with you to help on that. Um, seeing Vishap fly is a little scary. A little bit. A little bit. He's a big boy. He's a big chunky boy. He is a very large dragon. Yes. I kind of want to experience it. I think I want to go in and, and try it out and see, you know, w you know how this works. Yeah, I mean, from what they showed in the in the uh, the trailer, it looks like it's kind of involved. So I'm I'm down for it. Uh, and Ripper in the chat's like, "Is this the second time they're changing Thor March?" Uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, I know it's skewed because you got the you know unsync feature. I, I don't think they've actually touched how Thorn March works. Are you do you recall that at all? I don't recall. Yeah, them changing at least the normal mode. I don't even. Well, I don't think they did the extreme either. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I could okay. be wrong though. Yeah, I think it's it's been the same. Um, I know they're two completely different fights. They're kind of flip flop from each other. But. Uh, anyways, um, let's see what else are they doing? Uh, oh, we're getting uh, the trust in a bunch of story dungeons, uh, which includes Snow Cloak. Keeper of the Lake, Salmal, the Airy, and the Vault. And they showed, I think that was part of the trailer, uh, Hoshfont is going to be with us in the Vault. Um, you know, after that, he's he's gone, so. <laughs> yeah, spoilers. Um, spoilers. I, think, I think I saw Yasail somewhere in one of them, maybe Somal. So, that's cool. Uh, change the fight so you can't wipe yourself anymore if you kill the Moogles in the wrong order. 
I didn't think there was a specific order. I know people always wanted to take out the black mage and then the white mage Moogles because uh, yes. they didn't want to deal with the big AOE and then the healing. But yeah, I, I'm not sure on that. If you find out, Ripper, let me know. I always like to be educated. Yeah, do some digging, man. Let me know. Um, let's see. I think that was about it for revamps and changes, but it's always nice to see that they're updating the game, uh, making it more um, available, accessible, approachable. That's the word I'm looking at. Approachable for single players. Because uh, not everyone wants to go do like leveling and, and trial roulettes. So, although people always want to try to do mentors. So I guess there's an avenue. Um, there it is, yeah. Yep. Um, moving on from that, uh, miscellaneous improvements. Uh, so we're going to get the release version of portraits and adventure plates. Excited about that for official. We're out of beta. Yeah. All right. Well, it depends on exactly what they do to them to make that, to make, you know, it different from the beta version. Maybe they'll add some more poses and stuff you can do, even though that kind of sounds like a nightmare with. Some of the things people have already been making with those with that system, mm -hmm. but yeah, <laughs> so people people getting banned on YouTube for showing you know their adventurer plate when it's just maybe someone holding something, yeah, just the way their position looks like it's they're holding something else. <laughs> yes, he's holding really a creative. sword. <laughs> it's very creative what they do, but it's also kind of interesting and suspect, but. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but no, I, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I I, I haven't really uh, engaged with the system too much, but um, from you what I have, make one, right? I made one. Yeah, okay. I made one. Okay. But uh, I would like some more options. So uh, if they do add some more options, that'd be really cool. But I, I would like to be able to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I, I feel like especially for my big character, like that camera is just all up in my grill, and I don't really have. I mean, you can get a down upward angle or downward angle and like look up at the camera and stuff. But I mean, I don't know. I feel I feel the smaller races and Lollafells, you know, have the advantage of more space to do things with with the camera shots. So. Yeah, 100 percent. I agree with you. And I feel bad for all the machinists that need to redo their sniper shots. Well, it, it just make it your adventurer plate like thing, because I think yeah. you can they, whatever one you have set as your thing is will be get saved but yeah, your primary adventure plate whatever portrait you have there will be saved every other portrait will be wiped so yeah so pick now. your favorite one yeah, pick your favorite <laughs> one act now supplies are limited uh, uh here here's a, a nice little uh thing um i know we heard about it i didn't know it was going to be in this patch but request repairs from other players in yes. and out of instances no more do we have to jump out of the instance so that one person can repair their stuff because they forgot. Now one person has to be like the repair slave. Yes, so. they're just one person that that is excited about getting crafting up every expansion, a la Tark, um, and then make sure that you know you give him a little bit of gill or you know give him the dark matter, a stack of dark matter. So that he can repair your shit and you don't have to worry about crafting ever again if you don't want to. Exactly. That's one that's that's like primary reason number one that I get my crafting up each expansion. Yeah. And so oh, it's ready too. for repair for the next yeah. expansion. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Uh oh, Ripper coming back to us. Uh Thor match hard mode was nerfed in five point one. Hmm. You got any details on that? While you, while you look up details, I'm, I'm always interested to know details. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I, I can't really look into that, uh, an article at the moment, but I appreciate that, Ripper. Uh, so they're adding the combo sequences in the action list. Uh, I think that's cool. I think that's good for new players. Um, as they get the things, they'd be like, okay, this connects to here. Um, and then as long as they read their tooltips, uh, they can see what this all affects. Uh, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Just solid, you know, better solid looking qual quality of life quality. Yeah. Uh, have you had a chance to check out those uh, new player videos? Uh, the only ones that I checked out were 
uh the ones that they had for the break in between the two parts <laughs> of the the live letter and i was kind of asleep for those as well okay. so well, i didn't catch them. We'll, we'll talk about that next week then we'll you know we'll patch okay. notes and we'll talk about the videos okay. uh um let's see what else uh glam dresser at 800 awesome mm -hmm. awesome with that and the news on island sanctuary um they just need to just take the next step and just abolish the glamour dresser and just make it a collection system. Like you get a piece of gear, you get a check mark. Yeah. I, yeah. I, we've discussed this in the past and I think that would just be the best way to, for it, for the system period, you know, yeah. but. Mm -hmm. and, and, and with that check mark, it's just the, the, the image you're, that you're recording for that player. You don't need to worry about stats or spirit bond or, uh, condition or materia it's just hey they have access to this in a uh, glam plate yes yeah i don't want to hear anything about storage issues uh, we can't do this like they've doubled it that means every player's got a doubled uh glamour dresser everyone's got their own island spoilers just make it happen yeah just makes sense We'll see. Maybe 7.0, 8.0. Who knows? Uh, they did talk about the 7.0 graphics overhaul, and they couldn't really do it all at 7.0 launch because it would just be way too much for debugging um, and making sure everything works and like there's no clipping and, and graphical nonsense. So they're laying it out over these patches, and that's starting with 6.2. Are you excited about a graphical overhaul? Yes, I am. I'm excited to see what they do. Um, you know, uh, obviously, if the game looks better, then it, it, it looks better. I know a lot of PC players have the option to, to you know, use shaders and stuff like that mm -hmm. to make the game look better. So it'll be nice for us console players to have something that will make the game look a little bit better and a little bit more modern. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see what they do for Has sure. Hashtag PS5 Master Race. Yes, of course, obviously. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm excited about the graphical overhaul. Um, like you said, uh, you know, I see streamers that shouldn't be using mods, but they're using them anyway. So m more power to them. They take the, that risk into their own hands. Yeah. But the gate does look prettier. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I'm wondering if 7.0, 7.0 is probably the last for the PlayStation 4, right? Yeah, I think they probably phase it out just like they phased out the PS3 for what? Uh, Stormblood? Or was it Heavensward? Uh, I can't remember. It, it was in for Heavensward. Um, I remember that. Um, but it was gone by Stormblood. Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. So. All right. Um, a big miscellaneous. They're changing crit and direct hit um, and not the stats themselves but how the buffs affect certain abilities. Yes. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I hear the cries of a million warriors rejoicing in unison. And it was, it was amazing. Um, also, you know, reassemble drills, you know, also get, getting a higher pitch in their squeal. Good stuff. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what they do to those skills because they don't want to make them too powerful. Yeah. Right? So yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid they're, I'm afraid that they'll nerf them. Like they'll nerf Felcleave or they'll nerf Inner Chaos or Reassemble Drill or Starfall Dance or Madare or Ogi Namakiri. So I'm I'm a little worried about those abilities, but we'll see how we'll see how they interact. But it does feel really bad when you're in a party as a warrior with a scholar or a dragoon or a bard and you can't you know, benefit from any of their buffs, uh, especially mm -hmm. in your burst window. So now at least you'll feel like you're not losing out when you have those jobs in your party. Or if you're the job <laughs> itself, like if you're a scholar, then your crit, you're, you know, your, your chain strategy isn't doing anything for the warrior or the samurai or, you know, it just feels bad. So at, well, at it's least not they're, that it they're... didn't do anything, but the biggest hitting, the, the big yes. feel good damage isn't getting any benefit. Um, exactly. God, remember when we were running bar dragoon scholar in our group yes and our warrior was like this sucks <laughs> like yeah sorry dude it's that's i i don't design the game <laughs> I'm like, exactly well i mean now the game designers are doing something about it so that's that's really really good so it's a good direction they're going uh yeah. with with that 
I, so. I and what they said um so basically what the change is um because certain buffs and debuffs didn't affect abilities that are automatically gave you criticals or direct hits or both mm -hmm. um they're giving a little extra damage to those abilities based on your critical rating or your direct hit rating so yay more damage um i don't think it's going to be very meaningful damage i think it's going to be very small i think that they're there's either going to be a, an overhaul change down the road probably 7.0 um to you know that's when they do all the big potency changes and stuff so they could you know fix some stuff there um and then adjust that crit direct hit or again in 7.0 they completely abandon all abilities that give automatic critical and direct hits. I yeah. think the latter is the way to go. That way you remove that obstacle from the equation. I I agree with you. I, it, it feels good on Warrior, but uh, I there are some jobs it just doesn't feel very good on. Like Samurai, I just don't feel like it's it's... Midari doesn't feel as good as it used to, right? So, like, I, I don't know. Uh, but I, I do agree with you that it's probably not the the best course to continue at least either adding these abilities that do instant crit direct hits or, you know, even keeping them in the game. They might, you know, phase them out and it could just be a better overall thing for the game. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not a game designer either, but um, I guess we'll have to see what happens. So... Alrighty, wow. alrighty. Um, oh, R Ripper got back to us about that whole uh, Moogles thing. Uh, when mm -hmm. the Moogles guard Moogles are present on the field, damage dealt to Good King Moogle Mog cannot exceed a certain threshold. So actually, not really a nerf, more like a buff. So that you kind don't of. automatically wipe I yourselves. Yes, yeah, that must be it. it. It makes it so that you can't, yeah, just push them all the way down and, and just wipe over and over again because people don't know what's going on, right? So, yeah. kind of like what they did with all the other primals. Like, I know, I remember Ramu in the past, if you, you could you could push him before you killed the ads and just he would wipe everybody. Yeah. But now he just gets invincible. Like, you yeah. just can't damage him anymore before you kill the ads. I, so, appro yeah. I approve of that. <laughs> I yeah. approve of the invincible. Oh, damn it, I can't do it. Um... But yeah, you still have that time limit with those ads. And if you don't get those Rama ads, then, then, then he'll still judgment bolt you to, in the face. All yeah. right, back to the live letter, though. Um, yeah, the crit direct hit change uh, sorely needed for all those jobs that, that have that stuff. Um, I, yeah, I, I just think that there's going to be some sort of big change probably with 7.0 regarding crit and direct hit. And this is just the mm -hmm. Band-Aid. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, and then uh, the last piece of uh, miscellaneous news, um, uh, Island Sanctuary is dropping with the patch, um, not point X5. Cool. We kind of knew the that. the patch! No, yeah, we, I, we, I, I could have sworn it was going to be with the point X5. We thought it was too, but I, I remember seeing someone talk about the fact that it was on the, on the preview website. They didn't say it was coming out on point five. They said it was like coming out on the patch or something so like i heard there was speculation that it was coming out with the patch yeah. but um i guess this is just a a confirmation so something to look forward to in what 11 days so yeah yeah i'm excited For uh sure. let's move over to the next topic they were talking about pvp uh hidden gorge and rival wings returns i'm excited especially with this whole pvp revamp uh, mm -hmm. I want to get in there, do quick battles, get in some mechs, blow up some faces. Are you excited? I think you're excited. I think you've told me you like this mode. We have, yes. Uh, but I, I, at least from what I saw on the slides, it just said Hidden Gorge was coming back. Does that mean that the um, the other one isn't coming back? Uh, I forget what it's called. But the, like the the original Rival Wings. Uh, the one... I, I believe it is not currently. I think okay. they spent all the time tuning retuning hidden gorge and they're doing the same okay. for the other one so uh big props again they're just showing that um they really do care about pvp in this game and they do want mm -hmm. it to succeed and i hope um i hope that uh that does because i this new mode is basically a new mode it feels all fresh 
with this whole PvP yeah. revamp. So I, I have been loving it. Um, for those that want some new rewards, uh, with the patch comes Series 2. That's the battle pass that you, you earn. Um, if you haven't gotten to the marks that you want on Series 1, make sure you do that before the patch. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to worry about claiming everything right away. Uh, you can claim your Series 1 up until when Series 2 ends. So you got four months, actually eight months, to claim your Series 1. So just make sure if you want to hit like the Glamour chest um, that you hit that mark on Series 1 Battle Pass now, you know, before the next one launches, because you won't be able to go back. Um, I don't know. They haven't. They didn't talk about those rewards moving to a shop of, of any sort, though. So, yeah. Do your so PvP. I, I, I know that they said that you would eventually be able to get some of the stuff again. Like, the I think it's what, the Arch the arch Demon stuff that we got this time it's around? so cool. <laughs> it's really, really good stuff. So get it now while you still can. But I, I don't think it's as, like, you'll never see it again. They'll probably bring it back at some point somewhere. I want to die at pure white. I bet, would, I bet that it. would look sick. Could be. I'm a black and red kind of guy, so. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know you are. Um, With also the patch, you know, we got Series 2, uh, but Season 3 will begin. They said that they're going to upgrade the rewards, um, but they're making a few changes to how the season and its progression uh, goes about. Um, I guess everyone's going to start at well, most people will start on rank. Those ha that have participated in previous seasons, they'll all, everyone will be all the way back down to bronze. So it's not yes. just a, a slight bump down. It's everyone's kind pretty starting at, at square one. Um, the maybe controversial part is that uh, you can, you know, depromote. You can take a step down. Uh, you, you can get up to crystal and go back to diamond and then back to platinum. Yes. Wah, wah. Uh, while I was seeing this, though, I was like, wait, OK, we still need you know, a degradation system. You know, mm -hmm. if you don't, if you, you're, you're, you're encouraging people here to get up to crystal and then just never PVP again. Yeah. So but then they mentioned that when end of season rewards comes, it's going to be whatever your highest ranking was. So. Don't worry if you got to crystal and you got bumped down to platinum, you're still getting crystal rewards. So, okay. I still think that there might need to be a degradation system, but I don't think they're ever going to put one in the game because I don't think they want to force people to think like they have to log in. You know, we should is all about, you know, if you don't want to play, you know, feel free to unsub. We'll be here when you want to come back. You know, this is kind of an antithesis uh, to that mindset. What are your thoughts on this, uh, losing promotions, deranking, um, and should they put in a degradation system? I think they should put in a degradation system to keep people playing the, 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 the mode. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with, uh, with you being able to derank from crystal down to diamond and from diamond down to platinum. It's harsh, but I'm not somebody who plays all the way at the top. I got uh, to gold this time around yeah. and I was happy with gold. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's fine. I also think it's fine that, you know, you'll get rewards based on the highest that you climbed. That means if you do get up to crystal, you can continue playing and maybe you go on a losing streak and demo all the way back down to platinum. You don't have to feel like you just wasted all that time. You, you know, you still will get the crystal rewards. So I like that system. Um, but but yeah, I think I think it's a good direction to go. But yeah, I think you're right. A, a degradation system would probably be the way to go, even if it doesn't it isn't super harsh. Maybe you got to play a game a week or something. I don't know. But you know, I could something. I could get behind that. Um, uh, I will say that they did mention that they are working on matchmaking. So mm -hmm. you know, refining matchmaking, making that a, a better process is always a big thumbs up in my book. Um, again. They're just showing that they care about PvP. Um, they're putting in the effort on it. So awesome. Uh, if they keep putting in the effort, I'll keep I'll keep trying it out and playing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Oh. 
Do, 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 do. I like how Yoshi P was like, good and prideful players will not want to derank. So I expect players wanting to prove the, their furthest progress. I think... <laughs> I think it's the other way around. They're going to get to, to Crystal and they're going to, yeah, they're not going to want to derank. So they're just going to stop playing. Yep. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Peace out. Um, so adjustment to the rewards though. Um, so say you get to Crystal, you're not just going to get the Crystal rewards. You're going to also get all the rewards for all the other ranks too. So you don't have to be hunting. Like, you know what? I need bronze this season. I need to just, and do a couple matches and and like maybe just stop playing you know oh, i need silver this season i need to get some silver rewards um yeah yeah you get to collect everything you have more options you know the silver adventure play with the number two for season two um they did yeah. say they were also going to go back to season one and season two and fix that for for players as well so that's kind of cool that, that is good that. yeah yeah i'm surprised they didn't do that in the past it's silly that you wouldn't be able to get the bronze rewards if you got to like crystal or something. Like, what if you just like the bronze adventure or plate better? What if it's just more aesthetic? I don't know. So, yeah, I'm I'm going for a whole bronze motif on my adventure plate. Okay, this exactly. this crystal thing just messes with my feng shui. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, moving on. They slid over to uh, this piece of content. I don't think anybody really cares about. Um, what is this? Pande, Pande, it's a funky AE thing. Pandemonium, Abyssos. Yeah, I Something guess we like could that. just we could just skip over that, right? Yeah, I mean, if you want to, we we should probably discuss it just to be completionist. All right, just yeah. to be completionist. All right. Uh, so yeah, there's a, a new raid here. Um, I'm hyped for this. I'm really hyped for it. And they showed uh, a first boss, and mm -hmm. dude, I'm like. That looks like a carbuncle. And then they said it's proto carbuncle. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, if you look at it, you can kind of tell it's just a very bestial yep. form of carbuncle and little horn in yeah. the back. Yep. They've done kind of more uh, bestial, less cutesy carbuncles in the past Final Fantasy games. So I think that's what they're kind of going for here, which I definitely appreciate. I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool too. Um, and they kind of showed a mechanic, but didn't see it resolve. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the first guess here. I think because they showed kind of the Eden, you know, gets in the corner and does the the room cleave. Yeah. Um, I think that th then they put up a barrier. You can still kind of go between the two, but I think that barrier is a reflect because that's kind of a carbuncle thing, right? Reflect, so yes. that. That room cleave will bounce, hit the wall, and then bounce back. So you have to be on the other side of that wall. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, that would be thematic with Carbuncle. You know, yeah. reflect, protect, shell. That's kind of all Carbuncle's shtick, right? So uh, maybe we might see some of that in the fight itself. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It looks really, really cool. You, I mean, I think what Yoshi was in the normal mode. So yeah, that was, uh, that was definitely who, normal. Who knows what they'll do with the savage dude? Could be all kinds of weird angles. He got to like figure out where he got to stand because he's going to reflect a bunch of stuff. And it could be interesting. Yeah. So. Um, well, I'll, I'm going to get to that, you know, where to stand thing in just a moment. Um, but, you know, you brought up something that I didn't even really think of, you know, protect shell. You got to reflect that uh, reflect wall. You know, I I could see them doing like a D protect in a D, D shell. And you got to manage those debuffs with mechanics that are coming out at certain times. Um, the arena itself, you can tell that they have uh, sluices in mind. Protean waves. Yeah. Sorry, Pro Protean waves uh, in mind. So they're definitely, uh, for those, that again, that don't do much rating, they really design arenas so that you can manage mechanics with spots on the ground. It's, yeah, it's, it's like deliberate. They've been good about that lately, so yeah. Um, so um, you, you see Protean wave spots, um, but the arena itself, the the box is tiny. I'm super cool. Like I, I'm, I don't know. That made me really excited that it's super duper small. That yeah. that, that to me tight just, quarters, man. I like. 
we we've discussed about them doing some interesting things with arenas in the future and uh in, in our previous podcasts and this is a definitely a good start and from the trailer there's another really cool looking arena that's coming i think it's it, it, either the second third or fourth tier probably the second or third of of abyssos uh where oh. the arena looks like kind of like it, the osma arena right it looks like it's oh, like yeah, a yeah, triangle yeah, yeah. yeah the triangles yeah. yes i was thinking yeah. that was maybe trash in the in the dungeon but yeah um that was during the the raid portion of the trailer that i really think about it i'm not sure why i didn't put that together that's a good observation dude um yeah that's yeah, yeah. that'd be dope that'd be sweet yeah so i'm looking forward to these new hot arenas that are going to be throwing us in for these uh these new raid fights so um, at this point, uh, they, you know, oh, uh, uh, back to Abyssos, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, cool first boss. Um, mm -hmm. I like this carbuncle. Um, the music though, that music, ah, I can get used to that. So much, much better than Asphodelos. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> that got on my nerves so bad. I, I was getting to the point where I was not liking P4S though either, so. It's good, but once you hear, like, there's no... There's no phase two music, right? It's the yeah. same music from phase one into phase two, and yeah, they that's... haven't done that before, and it just makes the song drone after yeah. a while. Just drones off. If they had given the the post door boss of P4S its own music, um, I, I think I would elevate. But I just too many hours spent listening to that song. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, Let's talk about the change to the exchange rates for sure. head gloves and boots. They moved it from six to four. That is pretty mm -hmm. cool. Uh, is. So we'll get, you know, those pieces maybe two weeks uh, earlier. I also think that this makes it, as far as I can recall, everything is now a multiplier of four, right? Is that correct? It is. Yes. So that makes that easy to say, hey, I got four, I got eight. Okay, cool. Like no more having oh I need six and then, but I had a so now I got two, so I, I think this is uh, overall really good change not not just for getting gear earlier but also for you know managing your books and like wait how much did I need for this piece uh, question mark yeah it was it, it, yeah they should have done this a long time ago um it, they so back in the past they had with belts they they also cost <laughs> six. Um, and all the other oh. accessories cost four, and it felt really, change. really bad to have to spend six pages to get a belt when because the belt just refused to drop for you, right? So like, and obviously belts are no longer a thing, but like, it felt it also felt really bad to have to spend six entire pages to get head, hands, or feet when you could be spending those four pages on something else, like the coating for an accessory coding. upgrade, right? It always felt really, really bad to have to spend six whole pages. So the fact that they made it four equivalent with the coding, now it doesn't feel quite as bad to have to spend those pages on something like hands, hands or feet. So yeah. a change that they should have done a long time ago. I know they're not going to go back and change it. I think they said that, that all the mm -hmm. previous tiers yeah. are going to still have six for the other ones. But going into the future, really, really solid change. Yeah, so. I agree. Um, I always did that kind of the math. I'm like, all right, do I want to get two pieces of gear now or, or wait for them? Or should I get three coatings? Mm -hmm. And I was like, exactly. I think the three coatings is is a better deal, and then just wait my turn for the gear pieces. The but but now yeah. I'm like, hmm. Well, I think it's you know, what do I need most at the time? I think is mm -hmm. is is my thought process on that. So yeah, great change, um, and, and just for simplicity too. You know, four and eight, four and eight, not four six eight. Yeah. Um, yep. At this point, Yoshi P and Foscalon uh, showed us the new gear that we can expect is pretty sweet. I am liking all of the sets. Um, let's exclude the, the last set, Pierce, because that's, you know, the creme de la creme. Um, of the crafted raid and uh, tombstone gear, which do you think was the, the best set? I think the, the the first set that Yoshi showed, which is the tank, the, I think it's the crafted, the crafted tank set. Tank set yeah. Looks really good. It looks yes. really really good. Does, it looks it looks very tanky. I I definitely like it. Um, I was a pretty big fan of the you know healer tombstone set. Mm -hmm. Um, but then they showed some stuff that just really just blew me away. Um, this 
armor and weapon shield. Like I I'm only going to show one of them, but they got VFX on them and it looks absolutely sweet. Oh my God. It's, it's excellent. I don't know what the hell they're doing. I think that's got to be, that's got to be the weapon. The, so, so the Abyssos weapons plus the gear also has effects on them. I don't know if it's the body and the head that has effects on it, or if it's just the head, or I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what has the effects, but they haven't put really interesting, like glowy effects on on armor in a long time. Eureka is what rare. I thought of. Yes. Um, or it's like even back in the day in the 2.0, they had like the augmented like gear oh, where like yeah. your shoulders are glowing or something like augmented uh, artifact been, gear. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so long since they've done really interesting, like glowy effects on armor. So I'm really excited that they're going in the direction where they're going to start doing that more and just make gear more flashy looking because I just think it looks so sick. I don't, did they showed what they showed paladin dragoon and one other one was that a third? Samurai. Samurai. That's right. That's Samurai right. It looked, looked so like, weird. like, it had its helmet on, but it's it big eyes, but they were like fiery eyes. Yes. So big fiery eyes. So it kind of looked Jokerish, and you know, is this katana's freaking on fire? And I'm like, oh my god, yes, that looks sweet. Uh, can we get some? Can I see something for casters? No, of course not. You jerks. Yeah, no, no casters, no healers. Uh, but that man, that maiming gear makes me really want to go Reaper this tier. So I'm uh, gonna be seeing me on Reaper again for Abyssos. So I'm not sure. So, but do we know if that is even technically raid gear? I mean, yeah, I, I guess, guess it would don't. have to be, right? Yeah. I mean, I, the only place, I, other place we're gonna get a weapon is gonna be Hildy. But I don't yeah, think that I don't, this is... I don't think those are Hildebrand weapons. I mean, yeah. if you look at the shield, it's kind of got like chains on it. It kind of looks like okay, like kinda... prisony. So, and that's kind of what the whole pandemonium thing is. It's supposed yeah. to be like what, like a, like a prison or something. So yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, we didn't even mention like the arena I did, I, I, of Carbuncle. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but the the arena is inside a cage and it's swinging back and forth and if you oh. look in the background there's other cages like swinging towards and backwards so it's like i did not notice that I, I just thought it was it. i thought it was p1s but just green <laughs> no no you should go back dude we're All definitely right. inside like a swinging cage we're in carbuckle's cage yeah oh we it's, got screwed it's wild yeah <laughs> So um, the, the, the chains on the shield made me think about think, think about that. So just just really interesting touches that they're doing with the arenas as well. But no, that gear looks amazing, and it, it, uh, it, we're probably if if that if it looks like that for all of the the jobs and all those weapons look like that cool. Mm -hmm. I, I'm definitely gonna want to farm the crap out of out of a P8S 100%. Gonna farm it all day because I'm gonna want all of them. They look so good. They look, they do look amazing. <laughs> And they kind of look like they're linked. I'm like, I'm wondering if they're going to be doing like, um, you know, gear set glam set bonus, maybe. Yeah. Even if it's just a visual thing, right? Like, I think that'd be so sick. Yeah. As long as they're all glammed, you get the extra oh, shinies. Because yep. it's, it's like a loop on the back on each one of them. It's yes. kind of weird. Yeah. But yeah, it looks so. Nah, dude, I'm super excited. I'm super yeah. duper pumped. All right, um, and I even put in the notes here, new gear presented by hand model Yoshi P. Of course. I, I always think it's absolutely funny that they don't have slides for these, that they have Yoshi P doing, hold, holding the picture to the camera. See, you guys, see? Can just make a slide. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they don't make slides. He's got like printouts and like, you can tell that each of the printouts has a sticky note on it because I watched him like, take the sticky notes off and put it somewhere and then he's yeah. like so it's like one's probably like raid gear caster and then he's like whoop there you go yeah and then here's crafted gear tank whoop <laughs> take that sticky note off right so it's just kind of funny that they do it that way but they've been doing that forever it's like a a, a, a tradition at this point to show off new gear sets on like a paper printout yeah so it is part of the tradition uh let's see so we talked about the exchange rate uh i guess then we can move on to uh they went on to the omicrons the gathering tribe mm -hmm. um i said this earlier i think it's weird that the omicrons are the gathering tribe i think they should have been the combat tribe 
and either the Lulparets or the Arkasodara being the gathering tribe slash crafting tribe. So this is a little weird for me. Um, and then my chat during my stream was like, well, maybe they're just trying to change their ways. And I'm like, okay, I guess I understand that. But I mean, technically they don't exist. They're just creations from the despair. And I, why am I forgetting her name? Media. Media. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so I'm like, okay, we got this whole tribal quest for a tribe that doesn't technically exist. They're just not there. or They're just made up. So I, I'm confused by it. Um, it looks kind of cool. I like that they've opened a bar and you've got Omicrons serving drinks and stuff. Um, I also liked that they said, hey, you know, maybe go back to uh, the dead ends and, and reread some of those story bits that are laying on the ground because you're going to have NPCs that are going to appear and that'll kind of explain some things. Oh. So I'm cool. actually, you know, like kind of hyped for that. Um, I unfortunately am way behind on my tribal quests. Uh, I just got my tanks into Shadowbringers. So I'm going to be working on my Shadowbringers tribes before I even touch Endwalker. Um, I probably won't do Endwalker tribes until the crafting uh, tribe comes out. So uh, are you are you set to go? Are you hyped? I mean, are you raring to go for a space jellyfish mount? 100%. Yeah. Uh, none of my gatherers are actually above level 80, so this is going to be a great way for me to nice. level up my gatherers. Nice. So I'm actually super excited for it. It is it is strange that the Omicrons are the gathering tribe, but it is what it is. It's also strange because, like, at least from what I understand, I, I could be wrong, but, like, whenever you get... Whenever you go and fight enemies, at least, in um ultima thule they only drop like dynamis crystals that's, that's mm -hmm. like the only thing that they have right and i think if you, you can only gather dynamis crystals right i could be wrong no there's there's, there's all sorts of yeah there's there's a wood there's a, okay. a cotton ball um all right well that makes more sense things, so. there's, there's actually stuff to gather in yeah. ultima thule things i was like what what could you possibly gather out there in like the, that desolate wasteland but i guess there is stuff so all right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, not much to uh, talk about. It's, it's it's another tribal quest. It's the Omicrons. Mm -hmm. It's an Ultima Thule, so we get to hear that song in our head all day. Well, I think, I mean, the area around the Omicron Beast Tribe is probably going to have its own theme, just like the yeah, Arcasodra. It does. Arcasodra. It does. So, like, you're not, you're not going to be crying the whole time you're there, right? Maybe they'll have something more upbeat when you're sitting and chilling with the global citizens of the dead ends having a drink or something. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. And then they moved into a section that they spent, like, I feel like it was an hour and a half on, um, Island Sanctuary. And they started off by being on a Mandragora Mount at the top of the island, like, oh my God, a Mandragora Mount, yes! That's yeah. sweet! Uh, why didn't we think about this earlier? Uh, and then they panned around and flew around, and this island is massive. And everyone gets their own island. Yep. Holy moly. I don't want to hear any complaints about space. We can't do it. Spare no expense. Get this shit done. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're huge. The, these islands are, are pretty gigantic, so. um, Yeah, from all the way to the beach, I mean, and they said it's going to take a while for you to get to the top of the mountain, like, have access to it. So I'm like, oh, wow, okay. Um, I wonder what's going to take to get flying. I'm sure that's going to be restricted, too, then. Probably, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to start on the beach. Uh. And Reaper Ripper says, everyone gets their own island, but we still don't have enough housing for players. Exactly. True yeah. statement. True statement. Uh, so we'll all start at the beach. Um, and then there's going to be a tutorial quests, which good. Um, they said they didn't want to give an island and be like, here, this is yours. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, mount speeds are very fast. Uh, there's no battling no combat um they hope it f feels stress-free um they also mentioned later you know there's no race this is not a race just do it at your own pace which means i will have the island sanctuary level maxed out uh within a week 
Um, <laughs> oh, will you? Okay, dude. Well, with that other tidbit that we could sit in our island sanctuary and queue up for duties. That's nice. Oh, that pretty nice. oh, that's pretty sweet. I like that. Like, long way have we come since having a chocobo restricted us from uh, <laughs> queuing up for oh, a duty, I, right? I forgot about that. Remember too, those yeah. days? Yep. <laughs> if you had your chocobo, you couldn't queue up for a duty. It was awful. You really had to plan stuff. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do out-of-world stuff today. <laughs> yep. I'm not looking to this, so I'm going to have my chocobo out. It made, it made leveling up those chocobos it was a pain in the butt. No, oh, certainly. I had to dismiss them all the time if you just wanted to do a duty, right? It's just mm -hmm. obnoxious. Yep. Um, lots of stuff uh, to do here. Uh, farming, gathering, capturing mobs, uh, creatures, little uh, animals out in the, on the island, bringing mm -hmm. them back. Um, apparently there's, quote unquote, you know, if you're familiar with Pokemon, shiny versions uh, so got to catch them all. Uh, catch I guess, all. I guess you can get resources off them. You, I, I, is there fishing? I didn't see anything about fishing. There, there might be. I feel like they've got to do something with fishing, right? If you're going to be able to gather everything else other ways, maybe, maybe there's something you can do. I feel like they, you know, they, they said they are going to iterate on the, the thing every what, two patches or yeah. something. So it looks like every so... even patch. We yeah. should get uh, a little something for Island Sanctuary. So that's cool that they're, they really have got some long term plans for this. That's awesome. Yeah. And the rewards actually look pretty chunky. Yeah. I so... saw what three mounts, a minion, some orchestrian rolls. Um, I, I, it was all in Japanese, so I couldn't tell, but I could have I just... sworn I saw die in there. And if they have jet black and pure oh. white. Oh, snap. Then I'm doing this like nonstop. Cause yeah. Yeah. Jet Black is like 700 K on the vice and it's crazy. Yeah. That would, <laughs> that would, that would plummet it. Yeah. But you know, I, mm, it would have to be an expensive Jet Black cause that's one of their mog session items, isn't it? It is. So. Yeah. You can, uh, yeah, it's true. I don't know. I, I, it, there was green text and I think it was next to a die symbol. So it, it could be, uh, there's a lot of dies out there that are, um, have the, the green text right it's not just jet black and pure white it could be like dark red or metallic, metallic gold right so who knows but i they, i think i also saw materia in there so it looks like a pretty wide variety of stuff yeah. you can get from doing this content so i, I will I say like that I, I did like that it's like oh you can get crafting and gathering material here that's cool i like that i like having options of where to get your yes. crafting and gathering material because it seems so limited to just okay I gotta craft a bunch of crap so I can spirit bond and hopefully get the material I want off the extraction. Yeah, or scripts or whatever. Like, yeah, it's uh, obnoxious. According to translation, thank you again, Ripper. You're you're being a, a huge Chad man. Um, the island menu translated based on the picture of the die is called Ruby Red. Interesting. Ruby Red. And okay. the other one seems to be High Cordial. All right, cool. Okay. Thank you again, cool. Ripper, for that. Appreciate that. Come by the live chat every Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, as long as, you know, we're on time. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, we'd love to have you in the live chat. Um, I am thankful with the when I saw the plots of land for farming, I was like, oh, my God, this is a near replicant crossbreeding nightmare because I was like, OK, we got five double rows so that's 10 rows maybe five in each so what is that 50 50 and i'm like and then there's going to be crossbreeding and then you're going to have to do each one separately it's going to be an absolute nightmare and then yoshi p went over to one double double plot and clicked seed and it was all done i was like yes thank you cool. thank you Simplistic. so yeah. simple Go over to it, click water, boop, all done. Yes, there you go. thank you. I don't have to do each little seedling individually. Ah. And they said if it rains on your island sanctuary, that takes care of your watering of your plants. Double bonus. Exactly. Um. First rewards I'm going for though, uh, minion. 
Yes. Of course you're going for minions, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's a cool minion. And then I definitely want those mounts. I want that Mandragore mount. That is Mandragore, cool. yeah. Yeah, I'm pumped yeah. for the Mandy, the Mandy mount. Yes. Were you excited about either of the Glamours? We got a suspenders one, and then we got like a kind of a casual pink hat polo, pink pants yeah. thing. I'm down. I mean, I mean you it, it's in. definitely casual wear, and there's a lot of casual wear out there, so I'm sure you can mix and match with other pre-existing sets and make some pretty interesting-looking lounge gear. I've so. been uh, forced to look at Eorzean collection due to a friend, so I, I am now aware of all the different... <laughs> of course. Uh, ...combinations. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you were watching my uh, Moonfire Fair, but uh, someone was doing the jump puzzle um, in a pretty convincing mario get up yeah that was dope i like that that's cool i was on leviathan there was somebody at the top a bard who was playing uh one of the the like mario world themes nice. or i think it was mario <laughs> 3 <laughs> yeah yeah nice yeah nice it was great um anything else from island sanctuary we did uh yeah there's Okay. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out with uh, Island City, or a couple things actually. Um, all the inventory is all separate. Yes. 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 Collect all that you want. Just it'll all go in its own pouch. Don't worry about your inventory. It's, that's awesome. I love it. Uh, the UI seems pretty clean. I do appreciate that. Uh, one thing that has me a little like question mark as you upgrade buildings. You know, the, the initial ones will be like, you know, instant build, but then you'll have ones that can be like up to 12 hours. I'm like, wow, this seems like a perfect opportunity to uh, put up a premium currency up on the MOG station that you can then purchase no, for $5 no way, to reduce that 12 hour time down to one hour. Yes, let's do it. No way. That's you crazy. say no way. You say no way. But this is like a staple in those like Stardew Valley, you know, those those mobile games that have base building, you know, it's 36 hours or spend currency and reduce it by 50 percent. Like. I mean, if they leave it at 12 hours, OK, that's maybe manageable, but when you start seeing, you know, queue times for building upgrades, if they gonna start hitting like 36 hours, like. I might want to go purchase some premium currency. <laughs> I don't think they'll do it, dude. I mark my words. Square Enix, uh, at least in Final, look, in Final Fantasy XI, the relic weapon, there were some steps for the relic weapon that took two weeks. You just had to give a goblin something and wait two weeks of real real lifetime. And you, you just, that's just how they did it, right? That's dumb. And obviously 14 is different from 11, but... Uh, so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> It was pretty wild. They've they've since nerfed it a little bit. I think they reduced it down to one week. You gotta wait, but uh, <laughs> oh. yeah, dude, those are the days, man. But uh, no, I don't I don't think they'll add a premium currency to Island Sanctuary, bro. Come on. What if I, it, it was a high cost for uh, the Island scripts? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In game currency to skip the timer. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Sure. But it had to be like high cost, like fifteen k of that those scripts. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. All right. Well, I'm sure I'll be grinding it out, especially since it's not going to affect my duty, you know, cues. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to love that. Yeah, something to do in between your duties, dude. Easy. Yeah. Really Word. great. Uh, For me, what it's if the jumping puzzle right now. One of the premium <laughs> currencies, hear me out. You attach it with an NFT. There you go. Uh, sure. You uh, can have this one square <laughs> foot of the island. That's yours, I guess. Yep. Not really, but it's yours. You yep. can pretend like it's yours. <laughs> It's totally yours. Here's a certificate of authenticity for your part of the island. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take a page out of skill up as I always do with this one. NFT stands for no fucking thanks. Yeah. All right. That is about it for uh, Island Sanctuary. Um, are you going to be in there? Like moment one or what is your plan for 6.2? Mm. I think the first thing I'm going to do is probably normal mode raids. Um, that's what I'm most excited for. Or I guess maybe extreme. We'll see what the extreme primal is and get that farmed up. But no, obviously, yeah, I'm super excited for the the island sanctuary. But I'm going to okay. make sure I'm geared up and ready for Savage before I like no life island sanctuary, right? So 
<laughs> so you are planning to know life it awesome you know uh, i'll be doing yeah i'll probably be doing it a lot but you know uh i'm gonna start with msq because again the primal is attached to the That's msq right. directly so i'm gonna do msq get that done um i'm totally hyped for final fantasy 4 related content give it to me all the time yes please mm -hmm. um and then i probably will do the primal extreme primal after that um mm -hmm. probably pug it maybe we get our raid team together i'm not sure but since the drop offers, a... i'm like the most we have to run is eight times there is a week between the patch and savage another so another like... good reason to we can be warm like, up. hey, let's yeah, let's get let's warm up and let's get us weapons so we can go into the raid tier better prepared, right? Yeah. So good stuff. And we'll get yeah, yeah. That's all good. Um mm -hmm. that and I want to experience Troya. Um I know it's it's an MSQ dungeon, so it's nothing special. Yeah. But Final Fantasy IV, a special place in my heart. This be Troya being the the town governed by the women that protected the Earth Crystal. Scarmiglione mm -hmm. being the fiend of Earth. I'm feeling Excellent. all the good nostalgia vibes. So MSQ, yes, please. Um, then after that, uh, normal mode raids because, yep, I want to get started on those that gear grinding. I want to see that story. Mm -hmm. I love the story in 14. Yeah, um, it's okay. Th there are some hit and misses, but, uh, you know, overall, yeah. A, a minus, I'd mm. say, overall for stories in 14. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> and then, yeah, no life, uh, no life, the, the island sanctuary. Of course. Um, I don't know if I'm going to invite anybody on it, um, because my plan, if, if it's available, is to turn this island into a mining facility, it look like, uh, you know, desolate wasteland, kind of, you know, the lands of Sauron, fire, yeah. brimstone. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking to do. Just, Wreck it. Strip mines, yes, yeah, of course. Strip it. Strip it. Strip it for all the currency. Isn't that what everyone wants to do? People want yes. to keep it pretty? That's just shenanigans. That's shenanigans. Uh, I am a little disappointed about Island Sanctuary, though, um, because I thought we would be able to let our minions roam free. The island is big enough to accommodate all of our minions. You would We're, think so. Yeah. Um, we're limited to 40. They'll, I bet you they add it in the future. Maybe they'll let you put some more out. Every, every even patch, they increase it by 10. There you go. <laughs> That's my hope now. Since mm -hmm. my, I have 371 minions. Okay. I, I want them to roam free. I want to run into them all the time. Yes. So cute. All right. Um, Let's move on. They went to the variant dungeons. Uh, this has me a little bit more interested than I initially was because I thought this was just, I mean, it is story mode for these, this type of content um, because then we got Criterion, Normal, and Savage. So yeah. this is kind of story mode. Um, but the fact that there's treasure boxes and everyone gets their own treasure box with their, their own loot possibly, um, I didn't think there would even be loot considering I was figured this would be pretty easy. Um, yeah, I think you could get, get tombstones from this. It looks like it. Yeah. The reward screen looks like you can get tomes. That's, so. that's kind of crazy. Um, I, I, uh, I, I noticed now that I put VD specific actions. <laughs> okay. Very oh, dungeon yes. specific actions. Um, I, I figured well, that's what you meant. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's kind of cool. Um, supplementing. So if you're just, you know, a solo healer, you have the actions you need to progress through a dungeon. Awesome. Cool. Uh, if you're just a DPS, you'll get a, you'll get a heal. Awesome. Um, so it is still pretty casual. Um, I'm not sure if I'm keen on Nanamo talking to us excessively. Yoshi P did say that she does talk a lot. Oh, why? She's mm. cute. She is still a potato. You all, you got your potato kick emote. You can just spam yeah. that in the chat when you're doing it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> there are certain, certain Lala fells that, you know, are exempt from that. Tataru, Nanamo, um, Pippin. Um, but there's just way too many that deserve a punt. 
Oh, you. Oh, me. Uh, a little taken aback that there's only going to be two bosses. Yeah, that's strange they're doing that. So they better be pretty involved bosses. That's all I'll say. Yes. I, I guess what will make your runs different is um, different paths and different triggers can mm -hmm. add mechanics to or from those bosses to make them different each time. Uh, so that's where your variation in the bosses comes from. So that's interesting. I kind of like that. Um, yeah. And it looks like one of the bosses we can get as a mount. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you can get the uh, the, the princess armadillo thing yeah. as a mount. And she's really cute. So I'm, there's going to be a lot of people out there that are pumped for that mount. I'm uh, pumped for it too. But, I'm wondering yeah. though if it's a random drop from those those treasure mm. boxes in which case you're like oh my god this is my 65th run of variant dungeons and all i need I is the wonder. damn mount uh Maybe. we have really yet to see what the reward structure is true. yet so that's true that's true um and that goes doubly for the next piece of content criterion dungeons like i have no idea what the rewards are for that i don't they, they didn't show anything right i'm not missing no, i don't i don't think i saw anything I was asleep by this point when they were going through it, but I, I from what I heard, I could couldn't see any reward structure information. So I maybe mean, it's just for the pride and challenge, as as Yoshi P likes to say. Everyone's got pride about it. Um, titles. Normal uh, goes through a special dungeon finder. Cool, it's getting separated. Uh, Savage only available as a preform party, which we kind of knew from previous uh, communiques. Uh, I found this part very interesting. You cannot, cannot ignore mobs. So I thought there was going to be an element of sneaking around to to oh, get through this. Um, yeah. But yeah, you can't ignore mobs because you have to kill everything to spawn the bosses. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, you're just going to have to... Uh, maybe it's just a matter of managing. Um, break out those CC abilities, you know? The, the sleep and, and whatnot. Um... Yeah, uh, I, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. You know, I was hoping that maybe there was some mythic strategy. plus strategy <laughs> going on. You know, okay, we want to avoid this guy, but we could do this on the left side. Um, and maybe that's what they're trying to avoid. Uh, I, if the strategy comes in dealing with a certain amount of mobs. Because um, one thing that's different between the normal mode of Criterion and the Savage is that there's no ground markers. Gotcha. So you do need yeah. to know exactly what's going on with the enemy's animations. Maybe mm -hmm. tracking you know, four or five mobs clustered in a little pack and seeing what their animations, uh, you can get wrecked pretty quick maybe. So it, the strategy yeah. is just managing the packs individually. Hey, good news. Yeah. Good news. No more wall to wall. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Um, because yeah. you die, I I can't res you. I'm sorry. Nope, gotta start over. Sorry. Um. Yeah, and that is really about it. Um, are you excited about Varian slash Criterion? I am. I am. I'm very excited. I, I I am. It's just more content to do. Uh, hopefully it's challenging content, and hopefully the rewards are pretty cool. I mean, we've already seen a mount. So, you know, maybe there's some other stuff you can get from it, too. Maybe some titles, maybe some tombstones. Uh, could, be any, could be any number. Could be some minions. Could be any yeah, number. All the minions. Yeah. Give me, give me, like, ten minions. I'll be happy. There you go. Yeah. I just need to get that over 400. Let's go. You're almost there, dude. Uh, was there anything else about this live letter that uh, you wanted to bring out and, like, oh, yeah, that interested me. I think we pretty much hit everything it wasn't it was an interesting live letter but it wasn't super chock full of of really s interesting interesting stuff like i wanted to see some job adjustment information but all we yeah. got was the direct hit crit stuff so yeah i thought that we're gonna um, gonna do some details because they've been saying that they want to explain well yes. how better to explain than to do it in the live letter but i don't know uh maybe i'll actually be in the patch notes each individual change Mm -hmm. I guess that would be the next logical step. Probably. But. All right. Um, there was one little other piece. Um, you know, there's yeah. the graphical <laughs> updates. Um, then they're introducing a new dynamic resolution system. 
You okay there? No, I'm just a little tired. <laughs> he tar Piers is going to take a nap after this. Yes, Piers is taking a nap. Uh, but, Tark um, is no, unfortunately I... going to do Blue Mage later. Oh, that's right. It's Friday Night Blue Mage. I forgot. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, buddy. So there's this new dynamic resolution system that they're implementing for PS4, PS5, and PC. Um, basically, if your GPU graphics processing unit um, hits a certain marker limit, um, it's gonna descale your 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 graphics, your resolution, so that you can keep that a higher frame rate, so your frame rate doesn't dip. Um, I'm guessing that's going live with 6.2. Uh, you do have to enable it. It will come disabled uh, to start. So if you want to try that out, um, that might be really good for uh, maybe lower end PCs and I would assume PS4. PS5 yeah. seems to be handling on its own. For sure. So, although I keep forgetting to move to uh, frame rate mode when doing raids. I need to remember that. Yeah, I checked in my settings. I have it whatever it's toggled to initially, the 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 default. So I'm I'm not sure what that is, but I haven't really messed around with that a whole lot. I should gotcha. try it. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is about uh, it. Uh, that is about it for us here on Highlands Heroes. Um, Piers, where can people find you, sir? Uh, down below, you'll see under my face uh, that I am on Twitch. Uh, I haven't been streaming lately. I know I said I was going to. I say this Monday. every single time. Um, but Monday, yes, Bloodborne. Mon Monday, Monday, you can find me streaming Bloodborne with Tark. It's actually a good idea. I'll start streaming that. Um, I, we, we have to make new characters though, right? I don't think I can get my save file for my PS4, so I'm gonna yeah, have to make you, a new character. You can cloud download it, upload it, oh, download it. Yep. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm gonna yep. try I to got, do that. Then. I got both my characters, but awesome. I started a new one. Yeah, so I'll I'll get into that, but um, you I can mean, find me there. We can start fresh just since it's been so long, and then we could just yeah. be like, let's just start over. Yeah, I could We're try a new uh, a new build or something. That's always fun to do. Um, but yep, you can find me there. Uh, Radio underscore peers on Twitch. Uh, you can also find me in Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, I am a peers Harvey on the Leviathan server. Um, so come send me a tell or check me out or. Uh, we can do anything. We can do a dungeon. We can do whatever. So hit me up there, and uh, you can find me here doing podcasts on Fridays. <laughs> so that's where you can find me. But uh, what about what about you, Tark? Where, where can they find you? And I get a bunch of places. Right? Well, if you wanted to find me in Final Fantasy XIV, come over to the Primal Data Center on Excalibur. Uh, Tarkoth Solo. I will help you with whatever you need. Uh, we're doing Community Friday Night Blue every Friday night uh, for about four hours. We're, we'll power level all you. We'll get you spells. Uh, and we're and the aim is to you know get the, some raiding and some mounts, marble mounts, and some minions for people. Um, I've been having a blast with it. Have you been having a blast with Friday Night Blue? I have been. Yeah, I mean, I've just been really helping you guys out since I have all the spells and I'm leveled yeah, all the way. Yeah, yeah. It's still a lot of fun to go back and do some of those, like doing Shiva Extreme Synced was fun and like yeah, just, just that doing was, that kind of stuff. That was, was an ordeal. <laughs> it was an ordeal, but it was it was a entertaining time. So, all right, outside of game, you can find me Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, all at Tarkov Gaming. Uh, I post my updates and fun stuff on Twitter. Uh, all the streaming fun stuff on Twitch. And of course the podcasts and I'm trying to trying to get my creative juices flowing to do stuff on YouTube. So tune in for all of that. Um, and that'll be it for us uh, until next time. Y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And remember. Master control oversees all on the grid. End of line. See you guys. Bye.